So oftentimes when we're creating documentation, there's multiple forms of documentation that need to be created. Of course, you've got your docs that have to occur directly inside of the files themselves, which are really useful to your fellow engineers. However, there's cases where your software developers have to create documentation for other teams as well that may not be comfortable operating inside the IDE. And in those cases, you can use tab nine to help generate that documentation for you as well. So a great way to kind of approach this is to first start by asking tab nine to help you write a prompt. So here I've asked it, uh, can you help me write a prompt for an LLM to read code inside of a project inside of an IDE and create a documentation file in markdown.md uh, that is written and structured for an audit and risk team to get insights about the code, produce a detailed report that highlights potential risks, security concerns, and compliance issues, and include attributions to specific lines of code and resources used. So as you can see here, Tab9 has generated uh, such a prompt for me. Uh, it's pretty thorough. Now, what you could do from here is you can copy this prompt. And now you could go to settings and create a custom command. So now I'm gonna paste this prompt into here. And I am going to Copy this description and this part as well. Now I'm going to call it a name for a custom command. So I'm going to save it. Now, if I wanted to share this with my team, I, I would click share. So let's just go ahead and do that. And uh, that'll actually create a tab nine slash uh, underscore commands file um, that'll be pushed uh, into the source control when you push this project into your repository. So I'm going to save and share now. Great, so now let's use the custom command we've built. So the first thing I've done is selected workspace as my context scope. Now I'm going to use my custom command. Now we'll just wait for tab nine to execute this. Great, so tab nine has completed building the .md file. Uh, as you can see here, everything is within the .md file as I desired. So now what I'm going to do is create a new file. And now, as you can see, I've got the audit and risk assessment in a .md format. So let's, let's dig into what exactly tab nine generated here. So first off, um, overview the code base, purpose and key functionalities. Uh, this is great just to give someone non-technical understanding of what this actually does. Uh, key functionalities include user authentication, dashboard for authenticated users, home page, and then routing and navigation between different sections. Uh, it tells you what programming languages and frameworks are being used here, as well as key external dependencies and integrations. Now from there, it's going on and giving a report on security and compliance considerations. So looking at authentication and authorization mechanisms, data handling and storage practices, uh, compliant align compliance alignment, identified security risks. From there, it's going into key risk areas, potential vulnerabilities. So it looks like this uses some third-party packages um, and dynamic imports that could lead to potential code injection. It uh, looks like there is no visible implementation of role-based access control. Uh, API calls and their security measures aren't visible. Uh, I haven't implemented HTTPS enforcement and client-side storage mechanisms and security are not apparent. Uh, it looks like there's no error handling or logging mechanisms that I've built in. Uh, now it's given me some operational considerations for CICD pipeline, uh, environment configurations, and code maintainability and documentation practices. And finally, it's finished out with some recommended actions and mitigation strategies. So it's giving me uh, prioritized security fixes, uh, best practices for compliance and security development, and areas for further documentation improvement. And finally, it's finished it out with specific references uh, to various components of the application, 
uh, with files and line references uh, to guide some next steps for further exploration. So this is a great example of how you can use Tab9 to generate documentation that isn't necessarily for developers to consume inside the IDE, but can be created and shared with your uh, non-engineer, non non-dev team, so just a security and risk uh, auditing team that, that may not actually be directly working inside the application, inside the IDE on a day-to-day -day basis, but that you want to keep informed uh, and stay aligned with as you're using AI for software development.